At attention, soldiers. It's me, Sergeant Dub Dub. All right, we are on part five, Cinco. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna continue on here. Like I said, I opened a couple of shortcuts last time. I'm gonna attempt to get some insight so I can use that to level my character up. Yeah, so hopefully I can not die multiple times in front of you guys. <sighs> oh yeah, another really cool little aesthetic thing about this game is uh, the longer you're out fighting creatures, the more blood you get all over you, and it's like covers your clothing. The reason why I'm wet is it's blood, so it's a pretty disgusting game. <laughs> I mean, none of the uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, or any really from software game that is like this has been uh, very <laughs> not graphic. They're all, none of them are sugars and rainbows, baby. Um, they're all uh, basically uh, really dark and gruesome, but they're fun. They really are interesting, you know, backstory and lore to it that not a lot of people, you know, know a ton about. I mean, there's scholars out there. I mean, there's a guy, uh, Vati Vidya. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, check him out on YouTube. I can link it in the description, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, basically, he goes through and talks about the lore of the games and uh, what is discussed and, you know, kind of links the pieces together so people can understand it better. Um, I mean, I, I appreciate the lore. I really do, and I like watching his videos because he has a lot of really cool... Shut up. A lot of really cool uh, little Easter eggs and things that are in the game that I never noticed before. But uh, I'm more in it just to give it a shot and see what little secrets I can find on my own and just play the game. I'm a, a story-driven person, but this game is honestly not really that focused on its story, necessarily. So, yeah, these are these, like, half-werewolf men here. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah, my favorite pastime in this game. Breaking them barrels. Er day or a day all right so there is some items up here that i'm gonna get for before i go down it's a really strong enemy down there it's one of those half werewolf type dudes i was telling you like half transformed werewolves uh they have a giant like pike and they just they're really strong at the beginning of the game and they destroy you pretty hard <laughs> so i'm gonna keep my distance and try and uh not die to that enemy so quickly all right, let's go hop. All right, sweet. And over here is a little side quest character. named name is Eileen the Crow. And you can start a little side quest with her. Oh, uh, yep, thank you. Uh, if I keep talking to her. And there we go. Shut up, shut up. Okay. And we're going to put the Bold Hunter's Mark in there too. Okay. Yeah, so basically she's another hunter, and uh, you can do this quest line with her, and if you end up finishing the whole thing, you get not only her garb, but her really cool weapons, the, uh, what do they call these? Really cool daggers, I can't remember the name of them necessarily, but yeah, they're really cool. really 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 hard to stagger you god okay okay mr gunman can we not please sir that's the one thing that's funny about these gun dudes is most of them don't have any other weapon <laughs> so you just go up to them and slash them to death and they can't do a dang old thing about it mm-hmm all right Woo, cold blood do Alright, there's an enemy over here, and then I'm gonna drop down and get some insight and get the F out of here. Alright. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He's dead! Yay! Alright, cool. Alright, so we're gonna drop down here. This is a little area that they don't really tell you to go to. I mean, they don't tell you to go anywhere in this game. You kind of just do your own thing. But, um little separate area here with these giant rats in it they're disgusting oh god i hate these things so much Ugh, it's so gross Ugh. oh yeah this is pretty funny so you do this you get a throwing knife and you say hello sir oh god not that what are you doing there you go stab <laughs> oh yeah i found a new weapon there i'm not, probably not going to use it um I use it with my other character. It's just like the saw cleaver. It's just like the inverse of the saw cleaver, honestly. 
works about the same way. Is that... Are you gonna... Alright, dude. Yeah, you're dead. How do you feel about that? Do you feel dead? Yeah, stop, please. Thank you. Alright, Madman's Knowledge. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Woo! There we go. So now, I have what's called Insight. Insight allows you to uh, level up and also lets you, you use up one insight when you ring your bell, your, uh, what's it called? I have to remember the names of them, but there's two different types of bells. There's the um, beckoning bell that summons players to help you, and then there's the resonant bell that you can use to have other people summon you. Um, the way it works is basically, um, if you have not beaten the boss in the area, you can summon people to help you. Once you beat the boss, you can't summon them to help you ever again in the area until you get to the next area and it allows you to summon again. It's pretty much their way of making it so they, you don't, you know, wreck the whole game without <laughs> doing it on your own, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these just look like goopy bodies over here. Um, they're more than that. They are alive, and they're disgusting, and gross, and... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I woke them all up. There we go. They don't like fire. But yeah, these enemies in this game are just disgusting. Like, honestly, some of the best designed enemies in a game I've ever played before, but some of the grossest at the same time. Ugh. Oh, I hate it. Alright, you're dead. Woohoo! Alright. I'm gonna trying to get through here relatively quickly to show you guys how we level up if you've not played the game before oh god how about we calm down <laughs> freaking scream <laughs> oh this game is so gruesome i love it oh so yeah like i said there's no real like full-on like narrative direction of where you're going and like, you know, a lot of games, like, take, like, Just Cause 3. You know, you are Rico Rodriguez. You're in Medici. You're trying to stop the general. This is your journey with these characters. Like, in this game, it's just like, eh, you're a hunter, I guess. And you need to kill these guys because they're monsters. Uh, no? What am I doing? I want to reawaken. What is this? Oh, because I don't have any more Molotovs left. Oopsie. I'm going to back up from these guys. Woo! Okay, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down, please. There we go. All right, I'd really not like to lose these guys. <laughs> Wah, chop. This game is just go out, kill enemies, have a good time, level up. There is some story to it, and I don't want to discount it when I'm saying this. I don't want people to think the story's not good. I mean, the story is honestly pretty interesting. You just have to kind of delve deep into it to really understand it oh god birds falling from the sky we're gonna not now i'm not scared of them i just don't feel like going that way there's actually a giant boar over there that can kill you pretty easily and i'd rather not so okay i'm not gonna do that so let's see if we can get to the ladder here there we go there's actually a cool little trick you can actually aggro um the eileen the crow the one i was talking about earlier you can get her to fight you, and if you get her to this area, you can get her to get up this ladder. And what happened to me is uh, she glitched out because it's actually a loading point between two areas. And uh, she glitched out and got stuck on the ladder. And then I, I, if you're on the ladder at the same time as another player, because you can get... Hold on a second. Jeez. You can get invaded by other players. And if you're on the ladder at the same time as another player, you can actually kick them off or an enemy if they do climb. Usually the enemies don't climb. Um, but basically what happened was I got Eileen on the, on the ladder with me and I kicked her and she fell down so far that she died from the fall. <laughs> so not exactly the way that, uh, they were probably intending for me to do things, but it was still pretty funny. <laughs> sir, sir. Yeah. Visceral. Yes. I was hoping I got that. Yeah. You did. Woohoo. 
Yep, still don't know to this day. Beating the game like three times over. Do not know what shining coins are even used for, but whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, super deep dark secret storyline here. This little girl's like, oh my gosh, who are you? Are you a hunter? I need my, I'm gonna find my mother. My dad's a hunter, I don't know where he is, but can you give him this music box? He's one of the bosses and then you tell her that she can go to this church later on and be saved and she ends up freaking dying on the way. It's so sad. Oh my God. But you can play this tiny music box in the, during the boss battle um, against, basically you find out later it's her father, but you can play the music box that she gave you that's hers and it like messes with them. So you can, it like staggers them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Um, easiest way would be this way, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go this way, yeah. Do 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 do. Like, take little periodic little breaks back to Hunter's Dream to level up and become stronger. Keep going straight here, a few enemies, and the first boss you fight. Not too bad, but it's been a while since I've played, so I'm not gonna chance it. <laughs> Alright. Get up here. This one's probably going to be a little longer. So I'm going to show you guys leveling up and all that. If you've not played the game, if you have, whatever. I don't, I'm not trying to hold your hand or, you know, touch your butt. Maybe Dean is trying to touch your butt. At that point, you should probably let him because it's going to be a good night. Just saying. Just saying. All right, so this is the Hunter's Dream. Now the doll has awakened, and she talks to you and says, Oh, good hunter, blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. Let's see, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. There we go. I'm a little stronger than I was before. Can't level up anything more there, that's fine. Yeah, shut up, please stop talking to me, thank you. And this is the, there we go, yep. So this is the beckoning bell that you use to bring players to your game and then this is the silencing blank it's kind of a cool little system it's kind of you know early like late 1800s early 1900s inspired type design with some stuff here but yeah you can put the little gun there and you shoot that to make people go away and then over here is the shop for items and i'm going to sell things thank you and we'll sell that i will sell that i'll sell 19 pebbles and those and the saw sphere I do not need, and the torch, and that hood. All right, cool. So, all right, I think we're gonna end it here with our little our little friend here. We're gonna name him. We're gonna name you Bobby. He always in, always always ready for a good clap there, Bobby. All right, well, this was a uh, Bloodborne Part Five. It's a little longer than the other ones were, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'll be trying to continue this into a series. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good time. Um, Dean will make all your dreams come true. Such a glorious looking man here. Look at that. Mm, I'll just leave it on that image there. At ease, soldiers. Sergeant Dub Dub, out. <laughs>